everybody! We'd like to uh, welcome all the dignitaries who are here, all the people who have made sure that this event happens. Hartelijke goedemiddag allemaal. Iedereen denkt aan met ons geluk. En ik weet die zal succes maar bij je dank. La la la, mira la la! Hey to the people of Aska, hey to! Hey to the wonderlijke mensen van Mir, hey to! The one warmth of Mir and the whole of the Northern Cape is the warmth of the people. Because the people are beautiful people. We have spectacular sights, but the best thing about this province is its beautiful people. Listen, my children, hear my voice. I am your mother. From me, life flows. I have a story to tell. It is a story of discovery, a story of adventure and challenges. It is a story about mankind and how we discovered and conquered. It was the symphony of life. And I realized that I had no opposite. But what would my purpose be? What story could I tell that would make me proud and, and make me feel like I am part of what shapes the earth? Listen, 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 my children. Hear my voice. I am your mother. From me, life flows. I have a story to tell. It is a story of discovery, a story of adventure and challenges. It is a story about mankind and how we discovered and conquered. It is a story about destiny. Luister mooi, my kind. My boodskap is net for you. A long time ago, my voice carried to the far corners of the earth, shouting, booming, looking for my opposite. Surely, if I am wind, 
then that who I am not can be found. I got desperate, looking everywhere, in every corner, on every mountaintop, in every valley, looking, blowing. Eventually, I called my friend Fire to help, begging him for an answer. Fire, my friend! Your opposite is water! What can mine be? Surely not nothing, I roared. So Fire called water, and the three of us raged around. Drops collected from small streams to become rivers, and eventually forming mighty oceans. Fire and I work together, fanning flames, illuminating the night sky. We found nothing. And as I died down to a soft breeze, I realized that I was hearing another voice. So I became quiet. And then I heard it. It was beautiful. It was the most beautiful sound I have ever heard. It was the symphony of life. And I realized that I had no opposite. Would my purpose be? What story could I tell that would make me proud and, and make me feel like I am part of what shapes the earth? The final element? Water nourishes the thirsty and is home to the countless that live in it. Fire raises the grass so that new grass can grow to feed the animals that roam its surface. To complete the precious circle of life. And so in a rage I filled my lungs and blew across all the continents and created a storm of sand and dust that could be seen from horizon to horizon.
And so my search came to an end. And I realized that my fury had no conclusion, no result. But mankind was curious. He wanted more. He wanted to discover. The continents had moved and discovery was a desire beyond measure. In mankind's search for the new. They built vessels to sail the oceans. And from everywhere, suddenly I was called to make their dreams possible. They needed me to take them over the horizon to new hope and prosperity. And so I found my place of belonging. I found my purpose. My name was mentioned before every journey, begging me to be fair and kind. I could not always oblige as my tempestuous nature told me. I had to make it difficult so that only the best would succeed. was amazed by what I saw.
and mankind discovered the wonders of the world, its riches, not always the road to peace, but nevertheless, it was progress. Mankind moved forward. rose from this planet, heroes that embraced it all, they fought for peace and equality. Sol Plaiki is no better an example of this fighting spirit, a man of great literary standing, with the ability to communicate in eight different tongues, a prolific writer and pioneer of African newspapers. His writing and journalistic successes contributed to the betterment of the lives of all South Africans. Solomon Tekisho Plaiki. Jy is a held. Jy het ons horizonte verbreed. Jy is gelijkstaande aan al die landse helde tesame. Ons salieer jou. Sharper than the point of a Khoisan arrow, with the wisdom of an owl. As she looked over the endless horizons of the Northern Cape, her mind was made up. Her fight would be for freedom and equality, for her people and for women. Francis Bart, jou groot gees sal verewig by ons bly. Jou stem weer galm in ons harte. Malibongwe Gama. Lama Kozikazi Malibongwe. A man of peace and non violence, whose solitary struggle to retain his people's land and freedom against overwhelming odds ended in a dramatic and heroic last stand. Luca Yankee is an unsung South African hero and an icon of the southern Tswana people of the Northern Cape. Luca Yankee, ons bewoner jou dapperheid en jou onverskrokke soeke na gerechtigheid. Film star, traditional healer and leader of the Komani San in the Kalahari. David Kruiper spoke for the rights of indigenous people to the United Nations. 
He led the way for the restoration of 40,000 hectares of land for the sand people. David het gerei loop van die Kalahari tot in Kaapstad om vir die rechte van sy mense te gaan beklui. David, jy het nie net een rol in films gespeel nie. Jy het een rol gespeel in die geskiednis van die Noordkaap. And you, the people of the Northern Cape, the land of endless flowers, dramatic sunsets, extreme tranquility, extreme adventure, extreme culture. Welcome the world, welcome one and all, welcome to World Tourism Day and its home, the Northern Cape.